Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a City. This episode is going to be a little bit different. Like I said, we're going to be working on a few things and replanning some others. First things first, I want to look for some more NPCs to bring some more life to our city. Uh, we done a, a fuel station last episode, so we want to find some skin that would suit working in that environment. And there's also some other skins that I want to uh, find out as well. So, first one is KFC. Let's just type in worker. We want some working people. I want a builder as well. If we can find a builder, that would be cool. I'm on skindex.com here. This is where I get most of my skins from. And you can just type in the search bar at the top here. You can even search by author if you find a really good author. And then you can sort of see through what the skins look like. So I just typed in worker. We've got this quite cool one here. Lazy office is what he it says. Yeah, that sort of could work for the fuel station. That could work. Or we've got... What else have we got? A lot of these are sort of non really work, what I would call work like six. We've got like a villager McDonald's guy. Um, it's really fun just to go through. There's a lot of really fast foodie style ones. I really like my KFC one though. But. Ah, 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 builder. I really like the uniform, but I really don't like the. F oh, I sort of do like the face. He's sort of got his hair covering up. Hold on, what if we typed Builder in? Do we get like a skin like that? Because that would be brilliant. I want a Builder for the uh, construction site and for the port, for the container ship port that we'll be doing eventually. That's a pretty cool looking one. I really like that. Yeah, so once, once you find one that you like, you can just hit the download button here. And your whole screen crashes apparently. <laughs> There we go. And it downloads in the bottom left-hand corner there. Uh, maybe we'd want another builder as well. Having two skins sometimes really, really works. Ah, here's one that we saw earlier, but with a better face on it. Come on, load up. Load up. Click. Oi! <laughs> so what else have we doing? Oh, yeah, KFC. What would you type... Um, uh, fuel station worker. What would you type in? For that, they, what do they wear? That would help if we if we look. For some, why aren't you loading up? Refresh page. Uh oh, I've frozen everything. Yeah, <laughs> there we go. I've got it. Wonderful. Go away and download. What would a what would a, a normal fuel station worker wear? They're usually in a uniform of the place that they are. If it's like a a, a supermarket. Fuel station, they're usually wearing a supermarket style suit. So what if we type in supermarket? Supermarket. Now, a lot of these skins don't seem to represent at all what they are. But some of them do. You know, that's not a bad one. It's got, like, the waistcoat. Yeah. No, I like that. She can work in there. Let's download that one. She can work in the fuel station. And I think for the civilians, we're going to be using you guys. We're going to be, they'll become a, an episode where we'll populate some of the uh, city and we'll use civilians with your skins. Don't put your, your, your gamer tag or, um, or your PC, it would only work with PC Minecraft anyway, uh, in the comment section. Not this episode, we'll find a, an episode to do it in. But I think for the moment, that sort of covers, a lot. I know we want some, I want a, an office worker. So we want suit. Office? Maybe office. I want someone suited. Like an... O they're perfect. Okay. Did we download that one? I don't think I downloaded this one. But that one does really work as sort of an office worker. So we'll have that one. And then we'll have the office girl. Because that looks really cool. That looks like a really good receptionist style skin. So we'll have that one. I have no idea why the screen goes white. It's never done that before. But I ain't complaining. Back. Oh, back. Oh, it's, it's gone back to their office. Um, and then some more suited people for um, in the skyscrapers. It'd be really nice to have some sort of people in suits in there. Oh, look at this one. Yes. Bang. We'll have that one. Go back. And we'll set another good one. 
There's another office girl. You know, that one stands out enough to that girl, so we'll have that one. A lot of the female skins in Minecraft are very, very similar. They all have the same eyes. They all have the eye, you know, eyelashes. They all have the same sort of hair a lot of the time. Um, which is why, uh, unintentionally, I seem to put more uh, males down. Now, it's not me being sexist. It's just that the males seem to have a lot more variation between them. There was another... There was a... A male office worker, was it somewhere around here? That one. No, I don't like that one as much. He needs a haircut like I do. <laughs> okay, so there's number one. Now, once we've done that, um, you're going to want to rename these skins to what they should be. And uh, I should show you where to put them as well. Hold on, I should be back. Okay, so once you've renamed... All of the skins, it's always best to rename them, always rename them. We're going to go to my computer, and we've all done this before. We go to percent, app data, percent to get to your Minecraft files. Now, I need to go into Minecraft lands too, because that's the one that has my city world on it. You guys probably just have to go to dot Minecraft though. But we go into here. Don't go into the custom NPCs folder. Go into mods. Find the custom NPCs mod. Right click on it. Open with WinRAR or whatever you have to equivalent. And then we can go into assets, go into custom NPCs, go into textures, go into entity, and then I always put everything in human male. I even the females, I just put everything into that folder and then I know where it all is. So we can drag and we can drop those into there. Oh, I got Minecraft open. Close. Go away. Close. Minecraft, go away. You've got to close Minecraft and then it'll let you drop in there. And then you'd have to restart. There we go. And then you've got to restart Minecraft in order to see the skins again. What are you being used in? You're not being used in anything else. I shall be back. I shall put them in there and then it'll be fine. It's because I'm recording. Okay, yes, it was for some reason because I was recording. It said it was open. But before I forget as well, last episode was meant to be another world download. Because it was episode 30. Every 10 episodes I release a new world download. I forgot. I apologize, you guys have reminded me. So this episode, the updated world download will be in the description. Also, apparently last time, um, 10 episodes ago, it was also slightly wrong. Something was wrong with the world. I, can't, I don't know what, couldn't quite understand what it was. But uh, we'll have an updated one, episode 31. Now in the description will be the new up-to-date world download, including everything as well as what we've done this episode in it. Okay, so description below if you want to download the world. So, now that we've got the custom NPCs in, just before we get on to what we're meant to be doing this episode, which is replanning, we're well, not replanning, but updating our plan of where other things need to go, we're just going to put uh, a couple of these NPCs down, especially the fuel station one, because I want to get that one out of the way. So, let's um, grab our wand, our custom NPC wand, and we're going to click down on the floor here. And we're going to go to texture. Oh no, select. And a fuel worker. I think I saved it as. Fuel worker. <gasps> no, it's not for the 1.7. It's for a different skin. It's, it's for 1.9 or whatever. Or a different one. That's not too much of a problem. I can edit it in Photoshop. It's a little bit of work, but I can realign it. Um, it's just when Minecraft versions have updated they changed uh the skin layout um of how it how it all folds together like origami so that's what's caused that i can fix that though that's not a problem how are the other ones though we have builder one and two both of those are broken as well are they all broken really sometimes i get lucky and sometimes i don't and then what do we have uh s what did i call them something one to four i can't even remember what i called them now uh, civilian, nope. Criminal, nope. I called him something... Ah, smart. Oops. Smart. One, two, and three were broken. And four... Basically, all the skins that we downloaded this episode are in the wrong layout format. I can fix that, though. That's not a problem. Uh, so that's sort of got that out of the way, hasn't it? Okay, let's jump into um, Photoshop, then. And not do this, but we're going to do some, some updated plans because a few of you have pointed out some very important things that need to be addressed. 
Okay, so now to do what we were meant to be doing this episode, what I plan to do really, and that's to update and, and update the plan of our city because a few things have been put a couple of things has been pointed out to me okay what i've done is i've just uh, got our most updated world oh by the way look we've got the bridge now on here that looks so cool and we've got the uh, fuel station here and the island is now on the map as well that's really really cool to see i love the rocks and the leaves and stuff like that really cool you can really see the size of the island of the main island now compared to the private one that private one isn't a small island but it looks tiny compared to this own little private house so what i've done is i've just screenshotted it and i've put it into photoshop here so we can play around and edit it a little bit now, my original plan, and the main reason why we need to update our plan, is that right here, you can see my cursor here, right here is where we were meant to have the prison, where I initially wanted the prison, just up on the mountain a little bit. But no matter how much I try and ignore you guys, I just can't because you're right. We can't have a prison near the, near the airport. That just sounds like a ridiculous place to have a prison. And number two, it would be even more ridiculous to have a prison next to the primary school, which is right here. Both both are just ridiculous reasons, not or, or good reasons, sorry, not to have a prison there. So, we're going to do something that you guys have always wanted, and we're going to build an Alcatraz-esque or Alcatraz-style prison on its own separate island. And I'm thinking about here. Now, you can't... It's just a little bit off screen, but uh, I'm thinking, like, here, have a, a, a somewhat larger island, maybe four times bigger than this island over here. Only... No bridge. Only accessible by water or air. Uh, like helicopters and stuff like that and then we just have the prison on there it would look so imagine prison walls prison guard towers and the prison uh, the court it's gonna look really cool we might do it as its own series like the island and like the cruise ship we might have its own series for it because it is quite a large project but a really fun one so let's just grab ourselves like the green I'm no Photoshop genius, by the way. I just use Photoshop for my thumbnails. I don't really do anything else with it. But let's say the island is approx would be approximately there with the prison on it. So let's just type prison. This is going to be like way too big. Prison. Let's um, not have it in that text either. And we're going to want to make it a little bit smaller. Something like 30. No, not 0 0.01. 30. <laughs> 30. Thank you. Okay, so we've got prison in there. So uh, let's move the prison away from there. Now let's go through some of the things that we're gonna that I want to add. Number one is I want a shipping dock. Now I, I think I want the shipping dock. I, I originally wanted it here, but that's too close to the cruise ship now. So I'm gonna move the shipping dock to over here. This is where the shipping dock's gonna be, but that might be a little bit too close to the prison. So what if we grab the prison and we just uh, move it. Oops. Grab that. Switch that around. And we move it over here. Ooh, no. No. Come on. Uh oh. I've clicked something wrong. And we move it over there. Somewhere up there. And then that gives us a little bit more room then to have the um to have the dock i want i want like a big dock really let's just blue that in so the dock's going to be somewhere around here where's a gray give me a gray that'll do that's that's close enough to gray for me so something like this now i want it to come out a little bit like a sort of like a port like this and it's all going to be like a giant mass of stone like a grayish block and it's going to come out like that oops like that and like that and probably out this way as well, okay? Because I want a container ship to go here. That's where the container... And I want I want the big metal containers like call, old Call of Duty maps, like shipment and cargo, stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? Those side, types of Call of Duty maps with the big container ships. I want that about there. It'll really make that island part a really nice shape. And it's a very... Um, central area of like to the island where a lot of ships can go and pass 
So that's what I want there. I want forklifts and lorries and big cranes and stuff like that. Fire station. One of the most, like, things that people are asking for at the moment, which we will get around to, maybe even, like, in a couple of episodes' time, a fire station. Now, at the moment, we have the hospital over here, and we have the police station down here. So I think I want the fire station somewhere between the two. Maybe... Maybe up here. It's close to the airport. No, you don't want to pass the fire station on the way to the airport. That sounds silly. But I also don't want it in the way of other things. I'll tell you where we're going to put it. We're going to put it right here. Let's also change this to an actual text that I can read. There we go. So we'll have uh, the fire station. Fire. With half capital letters and half not. So we'll have the fire station around there. I think right on that corner. Okay. That's a really good place. You never have a school too far away from a fire engine. A, a fire station. In fact, all my schools that I've ever been to have been next door to a fire station. So whenever we have a fire alarm, the fire people, the fire men are like over in, in an instant. It's crazy quick. Um, so yeah, we'll have the fire there. And the other thing that people wanted was the town hall. They, You guys don't like the town hall, how it faces. Let's do it on a bit that isn't going to go all blurry. You guys don't like the town hall facing the elevated subway. Not monorail. Elevated subway. You guys think that it would be better if we flipped it and we faced it that way. So you come down this road towards the main entrance of it. I've had a think... About that suggestion, I always think about all suggestions that you guys give. And I think we might do that. It's not that much work. I can, in fact, just copy and rotate it and paste it back down again. And I think it would look better. I, I do agree that with the elevated subway here, or is it elevated track, whatever you want to call it. I don't care what you want to call it. <laughs> um, it, it. It gets a little bit in the way of the town hall. I like it in front of the houses. A few of you don't like it in front of the houses, but I do. It reminds me of a lot, a, a lot like uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 was. They had these elevated trainways uh, with houses on either side, and it was really cool. That was my inspiration for that part of, road, of, of the road. But the town hall, I do think, is a little bit in the way it's a little bit inhibited so by flipping that round and rotating it i think would look better so we're going to be doing that as well so let's uh, type that down so i don't forget oh don't do that don't don't do that Ooh, mouse flip so again with what's with the half capital letters and half not capital letters i don't get that flip that round let's make it white text as well boom so um well, everything would be white from in future. Uh, a pier. People have been saying like a pier. Like again, like Grand Theft Auto piers are. Um, with uh, maybe like a little roller coaster or like a little uh, wheel, Ferris wheel, some popcorn machines, things like that. Like, like a wooden pier would be good. Obviously, we don't want it anywhere near the industrial dock. We want it on this side of the island. I also don't want it coming off this way towards the private island because I'm sure the guy who owns the private island wouldn't appreciate that. But maybe coming off this way wouldn't be too bad. It'd be really cool to see the big cruise ship as well from the edge of the pier if my render distance can see that far. So let's grab ourselves some a rough brown colour. That's about a brown colour. I'm not too that worried about exact colours. And then we want to have it sort of come out like this. And I think only one, just one long sort of wide pier with, again, like a roller coaster and a... I might even model this pier off the one that's on Grand Theft Auto. I'm sure I'll be able to find some pictures of it. I've got the game. I can load up the game and have, and have a sort of GTA 5 pier on here. That would be pretty cool. I really like that idea. So, we shall have pier. Everything's starting to work now, probably. And we didn't get, like, half capital letters and half not. So we've got Pier in there. Uh, what else we've got? Um, subway. People keep saying about a subway. We've got the elevated one, but an underground one? 
I don't know if it's 100% necessary. I'm going to leave it on the list, but I'm not going to plan it. That might be something that we do towards the end of the of the series, whenever we get towards the end. A hunting cabin. This is something that I thought was really cool. Um, maybe we have it somewhere up on this mountain. This mountain, I want to be snow-capped up here. I want to have all of this being snow. Okay. It's high enough to have a little bit of, of, of cold up here. And I might even make the mountain taller. I might even increase the height of the mountain keeping it out the way of the runway though of the airport and having some snow on the top up there would be cool to have a hunting cabin like a little a little a little hunting cabin here let's grab that sort of half terrible brown color a little hunting cabin somewhere there uh, with like a little fire and camping area little wooden shack for uh, like elk and 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 deer and boar and things like that you know someone surviving up out of the outside of the city in a more of a, a wildernessy style area and uh, because it's snow capped i also want to have um skiing now i know you can't ski in minecraft maybe we can do something with minecarts and and retexture the minecart to look like skis and you sit in it but it looks like you're you're in skis and then we have the rails go down and we texture retexture one of the rails to be invisible so it looks like you're sort of skiing down the mountain uh, but i want a sky lift you know a, a ski lift sort of thing that you sit in and go up obviously we're not going to be able to use it but something static would be really cool so let's grab ourselves some gray i can never like find gray properly on here so i'm just going to choose that color and we're going to have a nice sky lift. I think it would be cool to have something that sort of comes from there. Oh, it never selected the color. But down to there. Something something like that. Again, the, the mountain is going to be taller and bigger, so it will fit a lot better. But it just reminds me, doing these little lines and dots on the map will always remind me what I need around the places. A hotel is the next one. We want a hotel, and I think a hotel would be best near the sort of party side of the island where we've got the the, the pier and you know the, the the restaurants and all this kind of thing so if we had a hotel you don't want it quite near the fuel station because that that would be ugly but maybe just here we have hotel oh let's make this white i like white text and then i can see it white text hotel somewhere I'm thinking just on the edge. It's hard to see with the sound of it. But just on that corner, just by the beach, it'll have its own private part of the beach. We'll like wall the beach off a little bit to have its own private beach area. That would be really cool. It's near the pier. It's not too close or next to the fuel station that it ruins the look. It's got a really nice view of everything else. Uh, so there's where the, that's going to go. Cathedral or church. We always need a cathedral or church. It's one of my favorite things to build in Minecraft. In fact, one of the favorite buildings that I've ever built was the cathedral on the last city on the Xbox. It took forever. It took so long that I never done any of it on camera, in fact. But it would be really nice to have a cathedral. And I think this spot just below where this little house logo is it's just your, the natural spawn point would be perfect i'm going to put church just because it, oops, just because it's shorter to type than cathedral it'll fit in a lot better we'll have that and i've spelled church wrong church chuck church just in there it's a nice amount of room because churches aren't small you need a lot of play a lot of space for it. you need the main church you need graves you need um uh, gravestones, grave uh, plots, mausoleums, things like that. So that's a really good place. And it's also, as someone pointed, as a few of you pointed out when we were building the primary school, is that the church can't be too far away from the primary school. Again, every primary school, every school seems to be very close to a church. So that works out really well for that. Uh, cinema. A cinema skyscraper, in fact, is what you guys wanted on this one. So we want this to be in the... Um, uh, in the skyscraper part of the map, which is very centralized, we can pretty much have it anywhere. I think we'll probably have it maybe next next to this blue one. And I'm thinking for the cinema one, I'm thinking like a wider one that then goes up to a thinner part. 
So you'll, you'll see that in the future. So big cinema one there. Uh, we're going to have to go through this a little, a little bit faster. Lifeguard tower, I don't really need to put down. There'll be a couple of them on the beach. Oil rig. Oil rig would be a really cool one. Obviously, we want it off the side of um, the the um, industrial dock, the, the container dock. So somewhere between the prison and the dock would be nice. I'm thinking something out. Let's just grab a grey. Somewhere out here is where I'm thinking for the oil rig. Okay, somewhere there. Uh, bridges for pedestrians. We've got a lot of road bridges, but we have no pedestrian bridges, and they give a really uh, next level feel to a city when you've got things that you can walk over and, um, you know, elevated heights. Again, this is something that we can't really plan out because they need to... They need to fit round buildings and, 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 and sort of swoop around those kind of things. But it's something that you guys have said and that I've taken account to. Bus terminal. We need a bus terminal. Uh, we want this, again, somewhat sort of localised. Not, bu not bus stops. They'll be all over the place. Bus station. So maybe we do want this a little bit further out. i tell you what. A bus station would be perfect here. On the way up to the airport, that way the buses can get to the airport, which they're going to need to very quickly, and also have a clean road down to the city. Perfect little spot to vote. It's a very thin spot that we can't really fit easily fit too much else in. So bus terminal, we have uh, the small bridge still to do. We've done the big bridge, we've got the small bridge, and we've got the train track bridge to dress up as well. Um, restaurant. Obviously, we want this very much... Um, Beach side, rest, I'm just going to put rest, because it's too long to fit in otherwise. Restaurant, we again won't have this sort of near the beach. Maybe near the hotel would make a lot of sense as well. And very much beachfront located, so we'll have it next to the main hotel. Okay, somewhere like that. We also want a nightclub, some music, and uh, you know some flashing lights. Maybe we can do some beacons or something like that. Or again, we want this down here, down at the, the, the business end of the city. So I'm thinking club maybe more up here. Not quite be close to the beach, but not right next to the beach. But next to food. Always a good thing to have a fast food restaurant near anywhere where people are going to be drinking alcohol. Because obviously when you come out from drinking alcohol, you always get a little bit hungry. Most of you guys are not old enough to drink, so you shouldn't know that. <laughs> but you do. When you drink, you get a little bit hungry. Um, we have a shop in the UK called Pets at Home. It's like your normal pet shop, pet store. Uh, you could buy, like, small pets. Uh, not dogs and stuff, but, like, uh, chinchillas and chipmunks and stuff like that. And they sell all the food in the cages and stuff like that. We call it Pets at Home. Um, so uh, we want a pet store. Everything always wants to, uh, Every city needs a pet store. So we're going to put pet down. It's always good to do these these updates. Pet store. Now we want this not really at this area, but not in the middle of the town either. Um, I'm thinking maybe maybe opposite the hospital, or m no, maybe this side near the yeah, just opposite where the houses, a lot of the houses are going to be. That makes sense. It's a nice place because the, the, this green area here, this sort of area here, is going to be very hard to fill anyway because of the bridge nearby. It's going to be very difficult. So we're going to have to, to think about that. Um, a stadium, football stadium, either England or American, uh, English or American, um, or uh, a basketball stadium, or uh, some sort of sta sports stadium is something that a lot of you guys want. Now, it does require a lot of space, so maybe here. Maybe there. We can extend the island out if we needed to. We could do something like... Uh, oops. Something like grabbing this green. Extending the island out a little bit more. Something like that. Giving us a little bit more room. And then having the stadium on there. Stadium. <laughs> in green. I wish text was always white. Is there a setting that I can change in Photoshop to do that? So stadium there. We can have a nice big car park. I would like something very roundish shaped. I don't know what I want. If I want basketball or football or American football. Seeing as though this is an English city, I might do another normal English football stadium. 
I don't know. Maybe you guys can let me know. We're going to want to have um, a garage or a, a, a garage and a car dealership. Um, as soon as we've got these cars, we, we, we want both of these. We also want this very close to houses as well because it makes sense. So let's put the garage just on that side of the bridge. Okay. Garage and we want car dealership. Dealer. And we want the dealership, again, not too far away from either. Um, maybe even quite ne near to it, like next to it, or maybe with a little bit of room between it somewhere there. Um, we're running out of time. We're over time. Who cares if we're over time? I'm having fun. We need it. This needs to be done anyway. Racetrack. I want a racetrack. But as you can see, we don't have a huge amount of room left for big things like that. I I wouldn't mind if it was even a go-kart track, but it would be a really cool... I, I really do want it, but I just don't know where. There is one option. Well, obviously more than one option. But there is an option of maybe having a tunnel that goes all the way through the mountain and then have extending the island the back we always knew that we were going to be extending the island in places anyway like we have with the airport we extended it back uh, that way but what if we extended it more lower down the, the the mountain and we had a racetrack out the back there as like a hidden easter egg part of the island you can't you, you wouldn't like see it normally but if you go through the tunnel, you'll come out the other end at a giant race truck. I don't know if I like a tunnel that goes all the way through that mountain, though, because that's really big. What if instead we had a road? We had a road that goes around the island. So something that comes sort of up here and a road that sort of goes beachfront. I really like that because then we can have nice trees going along the edge of the road. That comes out and around the back here. And then out the back we have an island. Oh, not an island, but we extend the, the, the main island back to the racetrack out here. Now, a few people were saying horse racing track. I, I like car racing better. As soon as we've got supercars, we could do it. I would, I, I, even if it's, even if we don't have the space to do a full racetrack, a go-kart racetrack would be just as cool. And maybe I can download like a quad bike or a go-kart mod for it that would be really cool uh tugboats and stuff like that will be out of the uh thing here uh library how much we oh we've got so much to go ah who cares who cares let's keep going uh library we want library we want this again sort of more centralized but not quite near the skyscrapers near next to it though so we want library library and we want this to be I think here, near the town hall, makes sense, a sort of older part of the town. So just on the right-hand side of what will eventually be the flipped town hall. Uh, we want apartment skyscrapers and business skyscrapers, just skyscrapers in general. To be honest, I'm not going to put these, I'm not going to write these down, because this whole area here, see this sort of square plot? These are all going to be skyscrapers anyway. So when we do the skyscrapers, we can decide if it's going to be a residential, you know, apartment one or an office skyscraper or a whatever. Um, a bank is another one that needs to be. Bank, I should really write down. We want a big bank style skyscraper here. So bank, uh, again, this is one that people that play GTA were the ones that were saying. Uh, they, in fact, said that they wanted me to build a replica of the bank of Grand Theft Auto. I can't remember the name of it. Um, I'm sure you guys can. But I think if we put it next to this skyscraper. It's going to be a really tall one. The bank might even be the tallest skyscraper in the entire city. The tallest building in the entire city. But that would be a really cool one to have. So we'll have the bank right there. Uh, we want a campsite. Was something that people said. Maybe we'll have that like a caravan park. I think people would say. You know, maybe the caravan park would be good up here. We've got, you know, just through the tunnel that we built. That's where that tunnel that we built not too long ago. Up here. I love that for a campsite place. Camp site. With a O, apparently. Campsite. What a great idea. That I never really knew what we are going to use that spot for. But it's right by the mountain, the ski lift. We can put some caravans down on there. That would look great. Maybe we can even do a very similar looking one to the... 
uh, mini game that went wrong, the zombie mini game that we were going to do. Uh, we could sort of build a very similar style camp to that as like an Easter egg sort of very similar style one. We want a hair salon. Hair salon. Now, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this in Minecraft, but it is something that people kept saying. A hair salon. Now, obviously, we want this sort of around this area. Maybe we even have it on the back of these houses, like somewhere there. Maybe at this end, though. That end would be better. Hair salon and clothes store. Cl cloths. Clothes. Cloths. Clothes. There we go. Clothes store. I think we want this sort of somewhere nearby as well. Just a small clothes store. Like, like things that you find in malls. We're not going to be doing a mall. The city's not big enough to have a mall in. Uh, but there is something that we can sort of do f with it. Uh, so a clothes store. Um, things like Sports Direct is the one that we have in the UK. Like, like clothes stores like that. But I think... Do we want it on the back? Yeah, maybe we'd have a few, like, sort of commercial shops along that line there. That does sort of make sense. Uh, corner shop. Your things like uh, your milk. Uh, not supermarket. Smaller than a supermarket. More of a convenience store. Like the ones that you always have on the corner of your street. We want this. Uh, I'm going to just put corner for that because I know what that means. We want this very near houses. So I'm going to put this at this sort of housing area up here. And I think we probably want it. Probably on this corner as your your local sort of corner store. I might even put it on the inside. Yeah, I think the inside would be better for the corner store. We also want a local pub. There's always a local pub in the UK. Anywhere that there's houses, there's always a pub uh, to be able to drink with. Again, you want this sort of near a residential style area. Although these are residential houses... Um, they're sort of a different style of residential in my opinion. Um, so the pub, again, we want very local. Um, maybe... Maybe on this side. Not behind the school. That makes no sense, does it? Maybe here, just down the road from the houses. That does make sense. Uh, we want tennis courts and basketball courts just like... Um, like how we've got it on top of the uh, cruise ship. Just like um, wants to fill space. Again, they will be down. But it's something that I'm not going to plan to put down. It's just going to be in a space that is too small for a building. We'll put in like a park or a tennis court or a basketball court. Something to fill that space. That's easily done. Submarine. We want a submarine not too far away. So we're going to put a submarine over here somewhere. Somewhere like that. Uh, somewhere down here. Just like, as again, another Easter egg style thing. Just off the island. Maybe with a little bit poking above the water. But most of it submerged. Just again, it's like an, an Easter egg thing. Uh, we want a, a construction site. A, a, a skyscraper being built. And I think this spot is perfect for it. So we want um, construct. I'll just put. I don't want, I don't want the text to be too long on here. A construction site just there again to use the builders npcs that we downloaded earlier in the episode and uh car parks car parks is something like tennis courts and basketball courts that will just be used to fill spots obviously we want car parks especially around this area around this sort of shopping area we want to actually allocate an area to park uh, same as the beach we want a car park at the beach which will probably be this spot right here so there's a lot of the planned buildings that we have. Obviously, there's a lot of space left. Although the island isn't huge, we still have a lot of space left. Houses are one of the most important things. So you obviously want a lot of area for, for houses to be built. And this is a really nice res potential residential area as well. Again, it's still local with the pub and the corner shop. Um, supermarket. A big supermarket. Super. Um, we do want a, an, an actual full-size supermarket. You know, opposite opposite the fuel station makes so much sense. We were saying that fuel stations are usually controlled by the nearby supermarket. Why not have it right there? It's great. Beautiful. So there is our new updated plan 
of our city. You guys are going to be able to see sort of what's to come and sort of locations to expect things to be built. If you have any more ideas of things that we haven't put down this episode, like actual buildings, not houses, but actual other type of buildings, gyms for example, we should probably put a gym down somewhere, uh, things like that, then let me know in the comments section, okay, this episode, very important that it's on this episode, because I'm going to be looking for extra buildings to add to this, okay, gym, um, we don't really need the gym anywhere near anything too much, Maybe in this spot right here, it's too, that spot's a very small spot for anything else. So yeah, right near the hotel, that makes sense. Nice gym near the hotel, yeah, yeah, uh, uh, that, that works for me. Uh, but yeah, that's good. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't already, then feel free to subscribe. Next episode, we'll be working back at the airport at long last. Hopefully doing a lot of the uh, car park and trees and dressing it up really nicely there. Okay, see you then.